Hi, Storytime lovers. Have you ever lost your favorite cuddly toy? Tell me, how did you feel? Did anything help to comfort and soothe you? Well, I hope the book I have chosen today can help you get through this kind of difficult moment. It's the story of how a little girl loses her teddy bear, but learns an incredible life lesson. This book was written by Tom Percival, author of the Big Bright Feelings book series. If you have never read one, you absolutely need to rush to your local bookstore and get a copy or click on the link below. But for now, let me take you on a seesaw adventure. Sophia's bear was old, tatty and very well loved. It had belonged to Sophia's grandfather, then to her mother, and from the day Sophia was born, the bear had kept her company too. He was less like a toy and more like a friend. Sophia and Bear enjoyed picnics in the park, long walks through the woods, and one day they even went to the seaside. It was a very long journey. Sophia and her father had to catch a train, a boat, and then finally a bus. But it was worth it. The beach was amazing. Sophia even took off her bare scarf so they could splash in the waves. Her father bought fish and chips, and they all had ice cream for pudding. It really was the most perfect day, until the storm clouds rolled in. Thunder clapped and lightning flashed. Raindrops pounded down onto the sand as they packed everything up and rushed for the last bus home. They were in such a hurry that neither of them noticed a bag fall open and Sophia's bear tumble out. After the storm had blown over, the bear sat alone on the wide empty beach. And nobody saw, but the sea. After a while, a seagull flew down and pecked curiously at the bear. The sea saw this and did not like it one little bit. The sea knew how sad the girl would be to have lost her bear, and so it decided to help. As it took hold of the battered bear, it almost seemed to whisper, I will take you home. Of course, when Sophia realized that her bear was missing, she was terribly upset. She looked everywhere, but he was nowhere to be seen. Her father telephoned the bus company and the train company and the boat company, but nobody had found a tatty old bear. As soon as they could, they returned to the beach, but there was no bear there. Sophia's father gave her other toys to try and replace the bear she had lost, but none of them were right. None of them had belonged to her mother. All that Sophia had left now was the bear's small scarf. She snipped a piece off, placed it in her locket for safekeeping, and tried to carry on as best she could. But it was just so hard. Now, it's incredibly difficult to return something when you have no idea who the owner is or where they live. But even so, the sea tried. It washed the bear along through the water, helped by shoals of shimmering fish, a whale, a dolphin, and even an octopus. The bear hitched a lift on a boat, and he was carried along by a seal. The sea always found a way to guide the bear through the water, but it was not an easy journey. When the wind grew cross, whipping the water into towering waves, the sea carried the bear to safety. When the waters grew too cold, the sea would wash the bear onto land. And then with spring, the journey would begin again. 
the sea became concerned. It was all taking so long. It carried the bear to every beach and every dock and every harbour too, but with no luck. And so the search went on, beyond the oceans, into lakes and along rivers, which was how the bear came to be gently drifting down a stream one sunny afternoon. A young girl saw the bear floating in the shallow waters and went to investigate. Curious, she picked it up and called out to her grandmother to tell her all about this exciting new find. Slowly, the old lady walked out of the house. Then she stopped. She stared silently for a moment, then rushed forwards to scoop up the bear. Sophia hugged her bear close for the first time in many, many years. You see, nothing is ever truly lost if you keep it in your heart. The next day, they returned to the beach Sophia had visited all those years ago. She stood on the warm sand looking far out to sea. Then she smiled, and the sea saw. Thank you for listening, and I hope you keep in mind this incredible life lesson by Tom Percival. Nothing is ever truly lost if you keep it in your heart. Let me know what you thought about this story, and don't forget to visit Tom Percival's page on the Simon & Schuster website using the link below to order your own copy of The Seesaw. Take care and see you soon.